Okay, come on. One just flew off. I don't know what was going on there. Hold on. Okay, they are not heavy enough. Uh, wait a minute. Wait, look at that. They crashed down through it. They do a decent bit of damage. Want to keep up with the latest Komodo gaming videos? Be sure to subscribe and click that bell. Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Brick Rigs. And today, Mr. Random Bob is back, and he's admiring this awesome play button in the background. So folks, I haven't said anything about it yet. What is going on in the background? Uh, we'll explain this thing up here in a minute. But like I was saying, I haven't really addressed this on the channel, but yes, folks, we did pass 1 million subscribers on the channel, and we have a cool little play button to check out here. Ah, check that out. It even comes with a golden daub. That is awesome. This is made by Volcanic Gamer, and yeah, I'm just really thankful for you guys. Uh, like I said, I haven't really mentioned anything yet. I do have some things coming for a million subscribers. Uh, one is a very, very exciting thing that I want to announce, hopefully here really soon. But yeah, thank you guys for all the love and support. One million subscribers, I'm happy. But you know what would make me even more happy about this? I want to blow this thing up. Like, really bad. Alright, target is in sight. We are ready to go here. Say goodbye to the play button. Uh-oh. Oh, there we go. We're getting some good hits on it. And... Uh... Holy man, they make those things pretty solid, don't they? Uh-oh. Uh -oh. oh, wait, there it goes. All right, so we started to chip away at the play button. Look at the poor daub that's just hanging on right now. By the way, I'm using a, a new creation by Wild Shaman. We'll go over it here in a second. You know, maybe I should just throw something on this. Hold on, we're going to set the, uh, the nice jet over here. We'll check this out here in a moment. Uh, maybe we should just drop something on it. So, we're just gonna crush this thing with the Roblox plane. Eh, wait, really? That is a strong play button. I know the actual one isn't this strong. Oh, there it goes. We broke it in half. Uh, can we get an oof? <laughs> there we go. Uh, yeah, that's, that's the thing. We, uh, we broke my play button. But, I'm still pretty happy about that. Now, about this Roblox, uh, airplane, I've never played, well, I've, I've played Roblox, but I've never played whatever this is involved with. Like, there's apparently some sort of airplane, I don't know if it's like a tycoon game or something where they try to just milk money out of you. But yeah, uh, this is pretty cool, made by Rocket Shotgun, and we want to explode it. Now, don't think that I'm ignoring whatever's up here. Uh, you guys are going to actually really like this. Uh, it's just kind of hanging out over there. All right, so my buddy Wild Shaman has created something really cool here on the workshop. This is an F-35. Now, this is a VTOL. So, you can take it off like a normal jet. I mean, you just go up, and I don't know if I'm going to be able to actually take this thing off. Come on. Pull back. Pull back. Might need a little assistance here. We're going to pass by the Roblox airplane. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. There we go. Okay, that was, that was a really aggressive takeoff. Uh... Uh, try to level it out here. Try to level it out. Okay. Yep, this is fine. Hey, I'm actually able to fly this somewhat. So yeah, this thing is complete with, uh, I think, four missiles. It's got an ejection seat in it, which is really epic. And it's got a VTOL mode. Now, I don't know if you're supposed to activate this mode while in the air, but I kind of want to try it anyways. Uh, let's go ahead and launch our missiles real quick. Uh-oh, I hit him. Oh, there they go! Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> Okay, they can just launch Bob instead. Oh, there it goes. That's beautiful. So yeah, it does have missiles. Uh, wait, am I still gonna hit the Roblox plane? Oh, oh, yes! I mean, it wasn't a direct hit, but I still got it. And uh, I think Bob's okay. Yes, he is. By the way, does this have a cockpit in it? Hold on, let's check. Oh, it does. Oh, there's an afterburner. And also, you need to read the description. I, I read the description. I still can't really fly stuff, so. Okay, there's your afterburner. Uh, I don't think we wanted to activate that here. Okay, no, this is fine. No, this is great. All right, let's go into the uh, let's go into the VTOL mode. So, let me go ahead. Let's position the camera. Actually, that's kind of a cool camera to head under it. So, what we want to do is we want to go hit Q. Check that out. So it turns the uh, the thruster down. Oh, it opens up a compartment there. All right, so we want to and let me see if I can get this going right. 
Okay, we want to try to balance this thing out. Oh, 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 okay. <laughs> it's been a little tricky for me to fly. I've tried it several times. There is a way to get this thing completely stable, and it looks amazing, and I'm pretty sure amazing pilots can pilot this better than I can. But, hold on, let me see if I can... Okay, no, 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 that's not the way I want to work this. Uh, I swear it does actually work. Okay, so it's a really, really, really fine line on getting this thing to balance. Alright, and slowly lift. Up, oh, up, oh, there's the front, there's the back. Up, oh, okay. Uh, maybe I'm too heavy. Maybe I got too much of payload. Hold on, launch those off. There we go, there goes missiles. Oh dear. Okay, oh, you know what? I could probably do this a little bit better with a, uh, with the old remote control, potentially. There we go. Oh, see, it's just fine adjustments there in the back. This is amazing. Like, if I could master this thing, playing with these in multiplayer would probably be one of the most epic things ever. Uh, there we go. Oh, it's got like a burst fire on it. Oh, that's cool. Boom! Uh oh, oh, I reacted too much on ejection. Hit the ejection seat. Uh, wait. No, we might not need it yet. No, you know what? We're going for it. Go, go. Oh, there he goes. There goes Bob. Wait. Uh oh, I'm stuck. Oh, I'm stuck in the can. Oh, this is awkward. All right, so Bob got stuck in the canopy. Dude, look at that thing, though. That is awesome. I just wish I was better at controlling it. Uh, that would make for some epic, uh, epic fights. You know, we should probably really try to knock that thing off. Hold on, let's go ahead and just spawn it here. And I just want to launch the missiles at the Roblox plane real quick. All right, so gas it up. Okay, throttle up. All right, so it's just minor changes. Okay, oh, up. Okay, page up. Up, oh, 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 up. Oh. See, it's just minor, minor changes. Okay, we are doing flips now. All right, you know what? It's probably just gonna be better just to, whoop, whelp. <laughs> yeah, put your hands up, Bob. That's great. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> He's cartwheeling. Uh, you know, it's fine. It's fine. It's cool. Uh, go download that. Check it out. See if you guys can fly it. Uh, I know I can somewhat fly it, but it's gonna take a little practice. So everybody's probably been wondering, what the heck is that on top of the skyscraper? And folks, if you've been watching my channel over the past week, you know we've been playing a game called Fun With Ragdolls, and we have a ragdoll here in Brick Rigs. This is by Volcanic Gamer. This is cool. Now, it doesn't stand up. So, <laughs> watch what happens when you do this. Let's go ahead and spawn it in. Right here. It just collapses. It just like sets down and bloop. And looks all kind of sad. So, it would be kind of cool if you can get these to stand up. I don't know really how you would do it. Because it would lose its ragdoll floppiness. But we have it. And this is a thing. And I kind of want to spawn in like a hundred of these. And put them all in this building. And hit this building with something. Do I think I could do that? Uh, potentially. All right, you know, let's go grab some. All right, big group coming. So I painted a couple of these a little bit different. Oh, uh, boy. Oh, look at that. It's beautiful. It's, uh-oh. Are you serious? All right, there went the whole stacking. Oh, no. Oh, the ragdolls are flying through the air, and that looks incredible. Kind of reminds me of the game. Like, there's ragdolls that are having uh, limbs blown off. They're flying through the air. They're hitting other buildings. This one is doing... I don't... Actually, I don't understand what that one's doing. Uh, full speed! <laughs> oh, that is awesome. Wait, we could totally do, like, a tower survival. How heavy are these? They're, they can't be too heavy. I think they're plastic. Hold on, drop them. Hmm. Do we think that would do enough damage to a tower? It's like we're crossing games here. Hold on, let's go ahead and get a destructible tower because there is destructible things and fun with ragdolls. And let's try this out. All right, do you guys do any damage to actual, like, brick towers? Let's go ahead, drop it. Okay. Oh, buddy. Okay, come on. One just flew off. I don't know what was going on there. Hold on. Okay, they are not heavy enough. Uh, wait a minute. Wait, look at that. They crashed down through it. They do a decent bit of damage. 
Uh, not bad, but I feel like we can improve this. So, we need to make one a little bit different. So, I'm going to grab our group here. And I'm going to take them over to the little workshop here. And I'm going to change the uh, material. Alright, we are ready for round two. So, we have the tungsten edition of these. Alright. On oh, these out of crush this thing. Uh, boy, okay, slow it down. I just want to see it. All right, and oh, yeah. Yep, that's what I was looking for. They are doing a pretty good job. Actually, the red one's going to be doing the best job here. And oh, they completely destroy the tower. Hold on, they all fell off. Is there anything still hanging on? No, I think maybe potentially we could have survived that because the stairwell is fairly intact. Oh, and look at all the pieces flying everywhere. All right, you know what? We got to try a true round here. All right, we're going to see if this works. Let's go ahead, get ready to drop these. Three, two, one, drop. Uh, actually, I don't think I'm quite... That looks better. Okay, right there. Yeah, I didn't think I was quite over it. All right, so we're going to start... Oh, boy. <laughs> right here, maybe? Come on, turn on the life bar. Okay. Ooh, run. Run, 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 run. Run! Oh, no! What the heck? Uh, they did a whole lot more damage that time. So, tower survival with the fun with ragdoll things does not work. Holy man. Look, the staircase is still somewhat there. Like, I would almost argue that you could use it. Uh, yeah. That's, that's not gonna work. Bob's a little, a little disappointed in himself right there. Okay, what else could we do with these? I mean, we could always take the OB approach and, hey, let's stick them up against the train. Uh, let's see what kind of damage they do there. I have a feeling it's just going to rip their legs off. All right, everybody. We're just going to set on the track here. Just have a jolly time. There we go. Okay, I don't want to take them out of God mode yet. Not yet. Okay, out of God mode. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, that didn't do much. <laughs> uh, Obi would be screaming right now that, Hey, did you see that? The train stopped for like two seconds or a millisecond or something. All right, I'm good. So for our next creation, I have no clue what to do with this. This is a uh, horse ride by Zigzagger, and it is amazing. Insert the coin. Yep. You can almost sense Bob's excitement here. Uh, actually, he's kind of smiling. Like, this is the creation that you didn't know you need it, or you want it, but now once it's here, you're glad it's really here, because this is amazing. You know, I, I was always kind of afraid of these when I was a kid. Oh boy. But yeah, I just wanted to show that to you guys real quick. Actually, no, let's destroy it. I mean, it is brick bricks, we kind of have to destroy everything. Okay, Bob. Alright, have fun. Ooh. Oh, this is gonna look horrible. Uh, oh, wait. Okay, so the base of that... Oh, no. Oh, he's sliding. The base of that's actually really strong. Uh, Bob. Bob. Oh, boy. Oh! <laughs> Wait. That's a strong horse. Okay. Let's keep on riding, Bob. It's fine. All right, so for our next creation, in these random Bob episodes, I always like to feature, like, some sort of structure. And, folks... Look at this thing. I almost want to introduce this to, like, normal Bob and maybe make him get a new house. I, I do love the modern house by Wild Shaman, but maybe it's time for a change. I mean, look at this thing. This is gorgeous. This is by Sweet Fox. Now, you know we're going to be blowing this thing up, which we're going to be blowing it up with an item which I might do a normal Bob episode with. Uh, let's go ahead and turn on some lights here. Oh, man, I'm so excited to jump into this. Holy man, now this is beautiful. Oh, we got a fireplace. Wow. All right, so I know there's got to be a switch on the wall somewhere. It's an, oh, look. There's a TV. It's actually got a Samsung TV in here. It's like one of the best brands. We've got a clock that works. Okay, there's got to be a light switch. Oh, there it is. I think it's right on the wall. There we go. Look at that all lit up. That is awesome. So you can go out this way. Looks like we have a garage. Uh, oh, look at this. Enable... Wait, what? Oh. Oh, you can change the lights in the garage. Blue, uh, purple, so we can... If we undo the other ones, I guess it makes it a little bit more purple. 
and then red. And then, okay, there's the door. Okay, it's garage door there. That is awesome looking. Uh, what is this? Wait, is this a bathroom? Or is this like a shop? No, this is definitely a bathroom. Because, yeah, I can sit there and take a bath. All right, that's kind of awkward looking. All right, turn that off. So we have a toilet, which I can pick up the stuff in the toilet, which isn't poo. It's obviously water. Uh, let's see. So we walk around this way. Oh, we got a nice little piano there. How many stories is this? Is it two? All right. Ah, oh, look at this. Uh, we got another set of... Are those speakers? I believe those are speakers. All right, another piano. Uh, let's see. Oh, ho, ho, ho. That is probably the best bed I've ever seen. Look at that. Look at the TV. That's awesome. So we have a PlayStation 4. We have a pool table. We've got a bar area with a nice view. Uh, you got a computer set up here. Very nice monitor. That... Oh, hold on. We got... What's this? I'm going to turn all this on. Oh, is that the different lights? I think it's the different lights. Oh, look at that. That is cool. I get a little bit of lag for some reason... Uh, in heavily lit areas, but it's really not that big of a deal. Ah, check this out. So we got our kitchen here, and then give you guys... Oh, man, that looks like it's on fire. That has a lot for the fireplace there. Yeah, that is a gorgeous building. That is a work of art. All right, so what do we do with works of art in brick rigs? We blow them up. All right, so what we're going to be destroying this with, this is actually by Verdef, and then we have something by Zigzagger. These came out right around the same time, uh, it's really pretty cool to see, like, these mech-style, like, super tanks. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and grab one of these by Verde first. And let's check this out. Now, I've thought about potentially using this for, like, a normal Bob story. Like, look at this. It's a full walker. Probably want to be in God mode, if I had to guess. Check that out. That is pretty sweet. It's got a uh, cannon on the side. What else do we have? Uh, mini guns. If I were to get out of this, does it still walk? Oh, it does. Oh, ho, ho. folks, if you guys have any ideas for stories, uh, this might be one of the creations to use it with. Now, I don't think it's very destructive, but I could be completely wrong. I need to hit all the buttons on it. Uh, and set it in front of the house here. Let's go ahead, kind of cycle through, make sure I'm not missing anything button-wise. I don't believe so. All right, what kind of cameras do we have? Oh, we got a barrel camera right here. You can see the house, it's uh, right there. Let's go boom! Oh, you know what, this house is made of scalables. This might be a little tough to take down here. All right, let's open fire! There we go. It's gonna take a little bit to rip through this house. Uh, you get some of these scalables. Oh, there go all the uh, pieces off the, off the fireplace there. Keep firing, there we go. Ah, that is looking pretty cool. Uh, it's still doing some damage, come on. Gotta get through to the other side of the house. Uh, we might have to go grab the other one to see what it does. On oh, aim down. Uh, I mean, these things look incredibly cool. They don't have the strongest weapons, but look at that. Like, I almost wonder, it's like, how in the heck is that shape even possible in brick rigs? All right, hold on, let's go grab the other one real quick. All right, so the other Verdef one is actually a, like a little smaller one. Uh, this one's got a single cannon on the top. So it's like there's a new style of army. Uh, I wouldn't say, well, maybe it is aliens. I don't know. Hold on, let's stick this one over here. I don't think we're going to use this one to destroy it. I just want to stick it out here. Uh, let's go grab one more. We've got one by Zigzagger, too. Holy man. So this is by Zigzagger. This came out fairly close to the same time. Does this have an interior in it, by the way? Uh, no. Well, yes, it does. Are you kidding me? This thing's got a full, like, interior. This is ridiculous looking. So, yeah, we have, a, like, an ultra mega tank. This is probably going to be laggy. Dude, that is... Oh, look at the cannons on that. So, you just hold it down. It's a continuous fire. Everything lights up. Hold on, what are the cameras like? Okay, so that's your main camera. There's the cockpit. This is probably one of the most ridiculous things I've seen in Brick Ricks. Been a while since I've seen something like this. I mean, we had a uh, an airship the other day that was pretty ridiculous, but this, what the heck? All right, this will for sure get the job done. All right, so the poor little house is about to get it. All right. Oh no! Oh, that devastating shot, that main cannon. Oh, and also we're hitting the uh, other creation that's in God mode. Hold on, hold that. Dude, that cannon shot is just vicious. Man, okay, so you can see it like blowing a hole through the back. 
It has completely wrecked the inside of that. These cannon rounds are about to start coming out the back, I think. Uh, it's still hitting stuff. It is weak in the house, but the house is doing a decent job. But look at that. Look how massive it is. That is cool. Uh, let's start to move the main cannon a little bit. Uh-oh. It is not like me hitting that Verdef creation in front of it. So I feel like we could use both of these, or at least all three of them, for a normal Bob story. So maybe that'll be coming up soon. Like I said, if you guys have any suggestions, uh, let me know down in that comment section. Man, I love the Brick Rigs Workshop, I must say. It's always cool seeing the creative minds out there creating uh, awesome stuff, and then kind of seeing how they, uh, or some of the creators will react to the channel, like like seeing the fun with the rag dolls thing and stuff like that. But, but man, it's incredible getting to play with all this stuff. All right, I got one more thing that's going to lag my computer. We're going to drop this thing from the sky. Okay, loaded it in. It is not in God mode. I don't know. Do you, th do you guys think it's going to actually blow up? I have a feeling it's going to bounce on the tires. I mean, no doubt it's probably going to blow up, but... Uh, we'll see here. Here it comes, and... Oh! Okay, so, like, all the tires exploded off it. That's one tough cookie. That is made of some pretty big pieces. That's kind of cool looking, though. And it is lagging a little bit. So, yeah, this is uh, definitely a laggy boy. But if you guys think you can handle that, definitely go download it. That is cool. Holy man. Well, I think that's going to wrap it up for this episode. I just kind of wanted to check out some creations here today. And I just want to kind of thank you guys for the 1 million subscribers. But yeah, thank you guys for all the love and support. We will be turning with some more uh, multiplayer and story episodes here really soon. And we will see you guys next time.